This morning marks the first official day on the job for Aurora's new police chief. The city swore in Todd Chamberlain last night. And his reporter Brianna Fernandez joins us live from Aurora. Brianna, there is frustration for some of the people who live there. Corey Jordan, a lot of frustration. People who live here in Aurora for years, they've been asking the Aurora Police Department and Aurora City Council to be transparent. But now with the new police chief, Todd Chamberlain, coming in here to Aurora without the community's input, they're saying that they're very frustrated and upset. So here's some video from last night during that meeting. We know Chamberlain is leading a department that already had trust issues with the public. It's also operating under a consent decree. According to the protesters, some of those issues include justice and pushing for details in Kylan Lewis's death. He was the unarmed black man killed by Aurora police a few months ago, plus claims that a Venezuelan gang has taken over apartments in the city. The city and police have denied those claims as have people who live in those apartments, but conservatives have said both APD and the city are lying. And then you have tenants who say that the city needs to do more with the bad landlords. Why should why should we trust you? What do we go back to our communities and say? Get to know me. Why should we trust you? No, 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 not not getting to know Don't, you, but why should we you trust you? You should trust you? me because again, I'm here to serve you. A lot of protesters say that Chamberlain should resign and that way the community can take part of that next search. They say if he does end up staying, he needs to sit and get that community trust back together. Rebuild that trust here in the community in the city of Aurora. That way uh, they say that if that, of course, doesn't happen, they're going to continue to come here and push for answers and demand for those answers. But I'm live here in Aurora. Brianna Fernandez for 9 News. Brianna, thank you.